What's going on YouTube? We back with another video. This time we're doing weekly spiritual inspiration. We know we haven't posted weekly spiritual inspiration in a while. We're working on it. And <laughs> I wasn't laughing at you. Oh, well, why are you, why are you laughing? It's pain. It's okay. Oh, pregnancy pain. Uh, Y'all already know that. She's pregnant. Yeah, you don't yay. Have to say that in video. Yeah, yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And stuff like that. But welcome back to Regina Chabonet's YouTube channel. And today I have my handy dandy notes here. And we're gonna talk about you already see the title. And gentleness is very important. But Psalms 37 Why is 23. Gentleness very important. Oh, uh, while out. No. I'm gonna go over why gentleness is very important. Because I got my handy dandy notes that I studied today. So Psalms 37 23 says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. So when I was deciding what I want to start with with gentleness, that scripture came to my mind. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Galatians 5 22 through 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such things, against such there is no law. Gentle is the root word of gentleness. It is defined by gentle as having or showing a mild, kind, or tender temperance or character, which leads me to the Google definition of gentleness. The quality of being kind, tender, or mild-mannered. And the second definition is this. Softness of action or effect. Lightness. The scriptures tell us in Matthew 10 and 16 that Jesus sent his 12 disciples as sheep among wolves. So they should be as wise as serpents, which is snakes, and as harmless as doves. Let's talk about doves. I'm going to give y'all five quick scientific attributes about doves. Number one, they live all over the world. Number two, they eat almost anything. Number three, they are unable to sweat, so they pant like dogs when they're in hot weather to stay cold, kind of like cocoa. Number four, female doves tend to lay two eggs at a time, and it takes only a few weeks to hatch. Most importantly, the fifth one, it's most important that I want y'all to get from the five quick scientific attributes about doves, most doves live about around three to five years, but in captivity, they can live even longer, which shows us that doves are very resilient. Let's go through five quick spiritual attributes about doves. Doves typically symbolize, symbolize peace, love, devotion, navigation, messages, grace, gentleness, there goes that word again, Purity, the Holy Spirit, the human soul, and hope. Let's go to the scriptures. Genesis 8, 6 through 12 talks about after 40 days of earth, the earth flooding. I'm sure most of y'all heard the story in Sunday school or Bible study. Noah sent out a raven, but then he, you guessed it, he sent out a dove. And seven days after that, he sent out the dove again. And then seven days after that, he sent out the dove again. Read Genesis 8, 6 through, 12, 6 through 12 to get more background about that. It's going to be quick, weekly spiritual inspiration. But we're talking about dove and we're talking about being gentle. Matthew 3, 16 through 17 says, We learn of the baptism of our Savior Jesus. The author described that after Jesus was baptized, heaven opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a turns to shell a dove on him him being Jesus so first we had the dove being sent out during the 40 days after the flood first it was the raven then it was the dove dove saw that it was too wet came back gave a report same thing with Matthew chapter 3 16 the author says the Holy Spirit after Jesus was baptized the Holy Spirit was descending upon Jesus as a dove. There go dove again. Let's go back to being gentle and having gentleness. When you're gentle, you're being wise. The book of James 3, 3, 17, 3 and 17 states, But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, then gentle, or considerable, or open for reason, reasonable, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hip hypocrisy. We are tasked in Matthew 20, 22 and 39 to love our neighbor 
as ourselves. So we have to be as innocent and as harmless as doves like Jesus commanded his 12 disciples to be. And if we ask for gentleness, it shall be given to us. One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible, Matthew chapter 7 and 7, says, Ask, and it shall be given you. And if we ask for wisdom, he will give wisdom to us as well. We need a scripture to back us up. James 1 and 5. Where if you go to that chapter and that verse, it says that we ask God for, for, for wisdom. He is generous and he will give us that as well. Last scripture I'm going to say before I pass it over to Chabernet. Because I'm going to be done. Last scripture. Proverbs 15 and 1 states. A gentle answer. There go that word again. Gentle. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So I hope I was able to tell y'all why it's so important for you to have gentleness. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit, one of the nine fruits of the Spirit. It's, one of, it, it, it's said that that's one of the, the laws that we should follow, and it said we can have that as much as possible. Love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, forbearance, patience, kindness, and self-control. Floor is yours. You sort of took everything that I was gonna say. Really? Yeah, but it's okay. I'm really sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I'm pregnant. I'm gonna say it all the time. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say that it is important to have gentleness as one of the fruits of the spirit, of course. And that just to work on it in your everyday life is just how we respond to people, um, how we al like allow ourselves to receive offenses, meaning like don't allow yourself to get offended quickly over everything because when you allow yourself to get offended, then you're going to respond in defense, which means you're not responding in gentleness. So um, just to apply that to your everyday life, I would say just work on the conversations that you have. If Even if you have an alt with somebody, try to come to them about it, confront them about it, but gently, not like, let me tell you. And... and most importantly, um, know that when we're talking to you all about these things, these are not things that we've necessarily mastered, master, but these working. are things that we're also working yes. on. And like one of our, um, I wouldn't say one of our pastors, he's not really our pastor, but somebody that we listen to often always stresses that God doesn't allow him to... Um, give a word or say things that he's not personally going through so the things that we say we are trying to work on and going through as well that's why we can kind of give you all some real life experiences with it that's facts um i'm definitely not the most gentle person me neither <laughs> so i can be very something... insensitive at times sometimes unforgiving yeah. as well so yeah it's all the things we and i'm pretty on. blunt yeah. So, and sometimes that can come off not quite gentle. Yeah. So, I have to. You want to go, go ahead. ahead? You say so. So. No, go ahead. But I was going to say, I'm sorry to interrupt you though. But I was going to say, for example, for me, I had to be really gentle when it comes to my wife, especially while she's pregnant. Understanding that she's pregnant, knowing that emotions sometimes will be high, she's going to work and then she's coming back, and then things could be in an array. That I have to be more patient, I have to be gentle. And sometimes that goes against my very nature because we're born in sin, shape, and iniquity. We have the Holy Ghost, but sometimes we have to block out what our flesh wants to do. Our flesh wants to react to those things when she gets with maybe she's moody, and just understandably and justifiably so, she's moody. So it's up for me to be gentle while she's moving. Ask her how could I help her move change. Sometimes it's more difficult than I'm saying, and that's why I'm saying it because the word the word of God is a double edged sword. It goes to y'all and it goes to us as well. So we gotta take on those those words as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm working to be more gentle because like Jesus died for us, but he also died for y'all as well. So it, with that being said, we already talked about forgiveness, mm -hmm. and that's a work in progress as well. All this is work in, progress. All work in progress. And while we're on this earth, the goal is to continue to grow and to acknowledge that we have shortcomings and struggles. And our goal is to be more like Jesus, and Jesus is very gentle. He helped people even when he didn't have to help them. He knew people who were going to betray him, and he still... Mm -hmm. Right in that presence, still broke and he bread was with still them. Gentle. Yes, yeah, still very Even gentle. All the way up to the to his death, he prayed and was still gentle for, toward them. Showing us how it should be done, and me now being the progress, I think I'm process. 
I'm in John now, so I'm almost done with the four books of, of the gospel. And just hearing the stories over and over again about Jesus. And I'm sure they usually start when he started his ministry, which I think he started at 30 and he passed when he was 33. I can imagine what he did from birth to 30. And probably not enough books and papers in the Bible and, and, and just for all the works that he did. Because they say about all the people that he healed. And they talk about it, but they just give us a snapshot of it. And it just shows how good Jesus is and what he did for us was so amazing on the cross. I don't have anything to say else left to say just to be gentle. Be gentle. Be harmless as a dove. And wise as a snake. Wise as a serpent. And what's the other thing about gentle? Oh, give gentle answers. Gentle answers turn away wrath. When people come at you and they, 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 they furious and stuff, you might want to get furious as well. Natural inclination. Who you talking to like that? Get up out my face. But Jesus inclination is cool. How can I help you? I'm sorry. Even if you if you know you haven't did anything, I'm sorry. How can I assist you? Please forgive me if I did anything to offend you. Sometimes we gotta give our answers that way. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You got anything else you want to say? Hit that notification bell so you know everything we get up on time. We get up on here. And be gentle, folks. We love y'all. You know, you asked me if I had anything else to say, but also end the video at the same time. Well, I wouldn't end it. It's kind of like credits. Uh, the credits. You definitely. Are, no, the credits are running. You, you were ending it. The credits were I'm done. You want to give me a kiss? No. Well, that wasn't gentle, was it? No, thank you. <laughs> See y'all later. Have a good one. <laughs> you sure you don't got nothing to say? I don't have anything else to say.